Today we're gonna to be showing you the best hidden features for the brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Let's get started. You can now view Safari websites directly from the Apple Watch. This is really convenient when you're trying to ask Siri something, so watch this. Salmon recipes. I found this on the web. And you can scroll through, take a look at each of the recipes here, but the new feature is you can actually click this open page button, just like so, and actually get to the web page itself right here on your Apple Watch. So it'll take a couple seconds just to load. And as you can see, we now have the entire recipe from that web page of how to make salmon. It's that easy to go to a specific web page right here on your Apple Watch. Brand new to the Apple Watch Series 5 and Watch OS 6 is you now actually have the calculator app right here on your Apple Watch that wasn't here before. Now that's not necessarily a hidden feature, but the hidden feature is that you can now quickly calculate tips directly using your Apple Watch in the calculator app. So watch this, let's say you have a $125 meal, you wanna calculate a tip, just press that tip button right up here and this is essentially the hidden feature and tip that you guys can use. You see here, it gives you the 20% tip. It tells you what the tip is. You can also change the number of people to. Let's say you wanted to decrease the tip a little bit. You can use the crown to do that, or you can increase it if you had some good service. So you can see exactly how to tip people right here on the Apple Watch, and you can even divide the bill among multiple people. Let's say you had three or four people there. It'll tell you how much each of you needs to pay. This is a great hidden feature right here in the Apple Watch. It's that tip icon, just type in the number, click tip, and then you can calculate a tip directly here from your Apple Watch. It's that easy. So the next hidden feature we have is actually gonna have you have to go to your Apple Watch app on your iPhone. If you go to general, you can scroll down until you see enable screenshots. This is gonna allow you to take screenshots from your Apple Watch itself. So select enable screenshots, and now what you can do on your Apple Watch is if you press the digital crown and the side button at the same time, you could take a screenshot of your Apple Watch face, but you do need to enable it. That's why it's a hidden feature I recommend checking out. So with your Apple Watch and the screen always being on, that is a great thing. But what you can do is you can decide to hide sensitive complications from your watch face, right? And so if we go here into your Apple Watch and we go to brightness and text size, and then you can see here that we have always on, the Apple Watch face is always on, so that's the watch itself. And of course, you can obviously change, you know, the brightness, text size, all of these settings right in here as well. That's something you'll probably want to customize. But what you could do is go in here, and as you can see, the watch face is always on, which is a good thing, but, you might wanna hide sensitive complications. So if you choose hide sensitive complications, then uh, data such as your calendar appointments, your heart rate, that could be hidden when you put your wrist down like that, right? When you're not looking at it that way, other people can't get, catch a glimpse of your sensitive information. This is definitely a hidden feature you're gonna to wanna to look into, especially if you're concerned with somebody seeing something that you don't want them to see. I'm gonna show you how to access the secret zoom functionality on your Apple Watch. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up your Apple Watch app and you're gonna scroll down until you get to accessibility. You can see that we have zoom is currently off. You're going to want to turn that on. Now you can also change the zoom amount. I'm just gonna keep it by default at 5X, but you can increase that as well. So now when you have your Apple Watch, just like so, as you can see it says zoom enabled. Now, let's say you're going to a website like we showed you earlier, that's a great hidden feature, pulling up a website. So let's say we're going to Apple. Visit apple.com. I found this on the web. And we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna click open page like so. Obviously, we're going into the browser here. Now, normally, you just have to scroll through, take a look at everything, but let's say you have a, a web page that has smaller text that you wanna read, uh, or it's really set up for computer devices. You can actually zoom in just by tapping with two fingers like so and moving around. You can see that we actually zoomed in on the web page. We can go and take a closer look. So just double tap with two fingers like so to zoom in 
and actually take the, a wider view at that page. It's a great way you can actually combine two of the hidden features that we showed you together. So one other great hidden feature of this is you don't have to go all the way onto your phone to enable and disable Zoom from the settings in here. Let's say you wanna turn on and off that functionality by default. If you scroll down to the bottom of accessibility and go to accessibility shortcut, you can enable triple clicking the digital crown for Zoom. So choose that and then what you can do when you have your Apple Watch just like so, is if you triple click the crown, one, two, three, you can actually enable and disable zoom, just like that. That way you have the feature when you want it, but you don't have it when you don't want it. You can zoom in. Now it's not just on the watch faces, we showed you how you can do this on websites as well. So that's a great way you can automatically enable and disable without even having to open up your phone. This next feature is a little more serious and I encourage everybody who is watching this right now to set this up just to be safe. Uh, this is emergency SOS and hopefully none of you watching ever need to use this, but this could save you from a dangerous situation. So I recommend everybody watching this right now to set up emergency SOS. You're gonna go into your Apple Watch app on your iPhone click on emergency SOS. And as you can see here, you wanna make sure that you enable automatic dialing. You wanna turn this on. It might be off by default. You wanna turn this on, automatic dialing, in order to call emergency services if you press and hold the side button. And you also wanna turn on fall detection so that Apple Watch can automatically call emergency uh, services if it detects that you fall. Now, again, it will give you a slight warning beforehand. So it'll say, hey, or do you really wanna do that? Like, you know, if you're, if you're conscious, right? You can say, hey, no, no, this is a false alarm. But if you're unconscious, it will automatically call emergency services if you fall and you have the ability to hold the side button. Now, the reason that I recommend everybody watching this turn that on is think about that. If you find yourself, hopefully you never do, but if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, all you have to do is press and hold on that side button to call emergency services, or if you take a fall and you can't press and hold that side button, the Apple Watch will automatically detect that you fell and call emergency services on your behalf. So I really think it's better to be safe than sorry. That's why I recommend going here into your Apple Watch settings, going to emergency SOS, and enabling both the automatic dialing by holding the side button and fall detection. Hopefully you never have to use this, but I encourage all of you to set this up just in case, just to be safe. It's emergency SOS right here for your Apple Watch. I hope you guys are enjoying these hidden features for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. We have many more coming up in just a second. But first, I wanna show you an incredible app that allows you to earn money shopping online, save money at your favorite stores. It is a great app. They sponsored this episode, but we're also gonna show you how you can earn $10 today just for signing up. So let's take a look at this app, and then we'll be right back with more hidden features. So now I'm gonna show you this incredible app that you can use to earn cash back and rewards whenever you're shopping online. And we're gonna give you our special link that you can use to get a $10 bonus just for signing up. So you're gonna to wanna to follow along and go to this URL. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash get ebates bonus, just like this. B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T, E-B-A-T-E-S, B-O-N-U-S, bit.ly slash get ebates bonus right here on the screen and also down there in the description. Click go. And as you can see here, you're gonna get $10 when you sign up and just make your first purchase with Ebates. Now, it's now called Rakuten, right? But it's the same thing as Ebates, so it's Rakuten Ebates. Uh, so this is what you're gonna wanna sign up for. And so you're just gonna put in your email, password, click join now and that's gonna qualify you to get that $10 reward. So we're gonna do that real quick and show you inside of the app. So once you open up the app, you can see that it is Ebates Rakuten. So you can see right here, uh, they did rebrand a little bit. So they used to be called Ebates, now they're Rakuten. But you can go through and take a look and see here that you're able to shop at a variety of different stores and earn cash back, like Macy's, Ralph Lauren, Under Armour, Newegg, um, Amazon, Walmart. Now Amazon isn't always the case, so be careful because sometimes there's different categories, but Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, right? Groupon, Old Navy, 
you know, eBay, Gap, Best Buy, a wide variety of places you're shopping online. Kohl's, look at this, Kohl's, 12% cash back. Imagine if you were just shopping on, on Kohl's already, if you're not using this app, you're missing out on 12% cash back that you can use from Rakuten eBay. So you can see here, you can actually get that 12% cash back. Now, if you scroll through, you'll also notice that it tells you about coupons, like take $10 off, 15% off, $10 off, you know, certain orders. You can see here, it'll give you the coupon codes as well. So you can actually stack coupons and cash back. And it's as simple as this to earn cash back. Just click shop now. As you can see, 12% activated. And then you can see that it pops up right here. And as you can see, this is Kohl's. And you, you can see at the top, 12% cash back activated. You can also click on seven deals. You can copy coupon codes that are available too. So you can stack coupon codes and cash back that you get from this application. Now, the extra benefit, another thing that you can stack on top of this, and there's a wide variety of different stores. Uh, Macy's is one of my favorites to use this at. As you can see, 6% cash back. And it shows you coupons as well. Once you download this app by going to bit.ly slash get ebates bonus, it's right here on the screen and in the description, you'll get a $10 bonus once you spend $25 at any of these stores within 90 days. So you have some time to go in and spend money at any of these stores, just $25, you'll get the cash back and because you use the link bit.ly slash get ebates bonus, you will also get a $10 gift card. So I highly recommend taking a look here. You can see there's a wide variety of different stores that you can shop at. I mean, look at this, right? If you're gonna shop at Kohl's already, uh, you can see hotels.com, Priceline, uh, GameStop. There's a wide variety of different places you can shop online at and earn cash back. So I highly recommend going to bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus to get your $10 bonus and earn cash back whenever you shop. So you probably already knew about the default replies that you have right at the bottom when you're trying to send a message to somebody on your Apple Watch. It makes it so much easier to send a quick message. You got the hello, what's up, okay, sounds good. And it will even automatically give you what's called smart replies that make sense in the context of a conversation, right? And so this is a great way to respond. But what you may not know, and the hidden feature I wanted to show you, this is a great tip for you guys to use, is that you can actually create your own custom default replies to show up in this list on your Apple Watch. You could do that using your iPhone. So if we pull the iPhone over here with the Apple Watch app, all you gotta do is scroll down to the messages folder, just like so, so click on messages. And then you can actually see that there is an option for default replies. If you click on that, you can see that we do have smart replies on, so it'll contextually let you know, you know what's the best reply based on what's already been said in the conversation. But if you go to the bottom, you can see that you can actually add your own reply, right? Like, you know, sounds good, whatever it happens to be. So you can add your own replies. That one's probably already in there already, but you can add those. And then these are extra replies that you can have on your Apple Watch. When you're scrolling through, you'll be able to see these replies show up in that field, right? So if you scroll through, you'll be able to see, and once it syncs, you'd be able to see sounds good at the bottom of this list of replies. I definitely recommend testing out the brand new voice recordings app right here on your Apple Watch. You can actually now do voice memos directly from your Apple Watch. Watch this. All you have to do is tap the record button to record voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. And click stop and as you can see, you can have all of the different recordings that you do that you can play back, even send off to your devices. You can share it here and you can also delete as well. So that's the way that you can actually store voice memos right here on your Apple Watch. Another new app for Watch OS 6 is the Noise app. So this actually allows you to measure sound in your area and actually hear how loud the noise is. That way you can make sure that you're protecting your ears, you're staying away from dangerously loud noises that could damage your hearing. So this is a very unique extra app right here on your Apple Watch. One of the other first things you're gonna to wanna to try with the new Apple Watch is actually tapping the screen in order to get it to tell you the time. So just tap with two fingers and it'll tell you the time. 5.41 p.m. Just like so. It's a really cool 
feature that they've now added with the brand new Apple Watch. You can have it say the time whenever you want to hear 5 41 it. 41 p.m. Just like that. So you probably already knew about the ability to ping your iPhone if it's lost, right? So you can actually just swipe up to the control center, tap on ping your iPhone like so. And it will have this sound that goes off so that you can be able to find your phone. What you may not know is let's say you left this uh, at night or in a dark place, right? And you want to be able to find it not just with sound, but with light as well. Well, if you press harder, if you 3D touch, on the, uh, the ping iPhone button, you can actually have the light go off on your phone as well, making it much easier to find. So just force press on there. And as you can see, the flash goes off on your phone, making it easier to find at night in the dark. All right, so thank you for watching my video on the best hidden features for your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Hopefully you guys have found this video valuable. You found some great new hidden features. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys found this valuable, share it with your friends. And I definitely, definitely recommend taking a look at Ebates, Rakuten. Obviously you can save money shopping online that you do anyways, but when you go to bit.ly, bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus, you're gonna get a 10 dollar bonus just for shopping at one of these stores you earn the cash back plus the ten dollars i mean look at that 15 percent back at kohl's and you get access to all the coupons six percent at macy's there's a wide variety of different stores uh, right here and it helps to support our show but also helps to support you that way you can actually earn cash back whenever you shop online. So hopefully you guys found this valuable and you learned a lot more about what you can do with your brand new Apple Watch Series 5. Enjoy your new watch and I'll see you guys on the next video.